her today. Well, for the Game Awards pre-show and stuff to start, I decided to, um, I don't know, just talk a bit a little. Ooh, uh, hold on. My computer is struggling just a little here. Okay, I think that <coughs> I think that freed up enough uh, goodness for it. Also, uh, today I'm using a uh, VC face rather than um uh what do I what was the thing I normally use uh three ten a. Ooh, hold on, there's a seems to be. Oh, okay, I see. Let me turn that down a little bit now. Hmm, but yeah, uh, the Game Awards will be starting soon. But until then, I wanted to just do a quick little, um, uh, things I would like to see and such. Uh, my voice, uh, fix that with a drink. Just give me a second to get up and actually get one. Because my water's on my other side of my room because I'm smart. I do not know what my model just did because I wasn't looking, but I'm sure it was pleasant. Alright, here we go. But yeah, I decided to uh, finally start using VC face. Uh, I still have some adjusting to do, as you can tell by the facial expressions. But I like its potential far more. <sighs> Nothing will beat some good water, and don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. <sighs> anyway, let's uh get on with uh, specifically why I decided to stream this. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, so first up, let's take a look at all the nominees. So for Game of the Year, uh, I voted Doom Eternal. Part of this was influenced by the fact that I actually hadn't played many of the nominees for this year. Like, I haven't played FF7, Tsushima, or Hades. Oh my god, this website. Or Animal Crossing, or The Last of Us 2. So, okay, well, I have played Animal Crossing, but I, so basically for me, it was between Animal Crossing and uh, Doom Eternal. And I love Animal Crossing, but Doom Eternal is a better game. Uh, best game direction? Uh, again, hadn't played most of these. Haven't played Half Life Alex either, but I've seen people play it, and I think it does a lot of cool stuff for VR. So I voted for that because I wanted to make sure I voted for this, uh, you know, support that. Uh, best art direction. I felt comfortable voting for Hades because I had at least seen what all these games looked like, and uh, Hades looked super pretty. Let's see. Best score music, uh, Doom Eternal was like the only- oh, the categories were all- what disappointed me about this year is there were so many games in like so many like separate categories. I wish a game could be nominated to like two or three categories max, but that's fine. Best audio design. See, now we got to games I did play, and I think Resident Evil 3 had some really great- uh, it used audio very well uh, for uh, making you feel tense at certain points. Like, I gave uh, best score to Doom Eternal because that shit goes hard, but as far as like, like actual sound design, I give it to Resident Evil 3 because I don't know, I just I think it did good well. Best performance, what did I do for this one? Again, I hadn't watched most of these. Uh, but I, I this was uh, yeah that was based on like videos and stuff I'd seen honestly. But uh, uh, Miles was really like 
I love his delivery, it's really emotional for me. Uh, I will say I threw votes into all of these just because I wanted to have a vote in each category because it was bothering me that I didn't. Uh, haven't played much of Tell Me Why yet, but the, the trailers for it got me uh, like sh and shit. So, you know. Best ongoing, Destiny 2, as everyone who knows me knows me knows, I've been playing a lot of Destiny 2, so that got its uh, vote here for me, because I think uh, I think Bungie are doing a really good job with it, I've been really enjoying this season so far. Best indie game, uh, Fall Guys, because um, I think when I, I ha yeah, I had played Splunky 2 by the time I voted on this, but I enjoyed Fall Guys more. Uh, Splunky 2 is more of the same, which is fine, it was more Splunky. But, uh, Fall Guys, I don't know, man. Fall Guys is interesting. Uh, Genshin, even though I play it on PC, uh, I felt it was the best game in the category. So, gave it the vote. Among Us was cool, but, eh. A Pokemon Cafe Mix was just a match three. Community Sport, I really love, uh, the community Twitter for, uh, Fall Guys. Like, I, I follow that because I find it amusing. Uh, Half-Life Alex got best VR because, I don't know, from... And again, I haven't played much VR this year, but Half-Life Alex, from everything I've seen, did well. Accessibility. I forget why I did. There was a specific reason why I was in Creed Valhalla. I don't remember right now. I think it had like some feature or something that I was like, that's really fucking cool. Like, it was really good for... I don't remember right now though. Best action, uh, Doom Turtle, because that game is entire action for it. So many repeated... It's really annoying actually. I hate the... The categories are basically all the same. Best action and adventure... Honestly, this was based on my enjoyment for uh, the... Marvel Spider-Man for the PS4, and from what I'd seen, this was more of the same, so. Bet RPG. See, this was good. This was fun to vote in, because most of the options were different. And I vote P5 Royal, because I love P5 Royal. I haven't played Yakuza 7 yet. I really need to. Press fighting game. I think I clicked the Grand Luke's, I thought it was something else. So, oh well. Best family game, Animal Crossing, because there is a great game for everyone to play. What do I vote for this? Best sim strategy. I just thought the alien dude looked cool, to be honest. Uh, this, I had no opinion on, I just wanted to vote for something, because it was like, hey, vote for everything. Oh no, no, that was it, sorry, Tony Hawk was in there, yes. Uh, Tony Hawk got the vote, because it's fucking Tony Hawk. Some of the best multiplayer experiences I had had this year were, um, Among Us, though. Like, that's so much fun to play with friends. Full guys, I mean, it is a multiplayer game. When I consider multiplayer, I consider how fun it is to play with friends. More so, how fun it is to play with randoms. And Among Us, oh, so many good moments. Uh, I'm just a big fan of uh, a lot of PS. She made good content, and uh, it was sad when she leaving uh, Funhouse. But I know it's to do bigger and better things, so support there. Uh, what was this? Best debut game. Uh, Phasmophobia, because that's a really fun, spooky game. I gotta stream that on here at some point. Best athlete, I literally picked someone at random. Uh, same for the best coach. Best stream for this. I chose this specifically because it said European finals. I'm petty. Oh, uh, uh, Bible Man God, thank you for the follow. I'm just going over, um, my, what I personally nominated for the Game Awards this year while waiting for the pre show to start. Uh, esports, esports. Okay, actually, that's everything. Alright, so let's um close this. We'll just let the we'll just let the Christmas music play. Um
give me sus. What does that mean? Actually, you know, I'll close Christmas music. And we'll, uh... Maybe we'll preview and we'll throw this up. Okay, we got two minutes to go until, uh, the awards start. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, so people have been speculating, ooh, people have been speculating who they think will be the Smash rep this year, and I have no idea. But I know they're announcing it, which is part of why I thought, oh, I should stream this. So I like Smash. Oh, full screen the game. Not the game, the thing, there we go. And for the sake of stream quality, we're gonna lock it at 480, rather than having it auto. Hmm. Oh, I hit. Whoops. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, okay, so hold on. Let me, uh. Move. To. Then we do this. Interact. Play live. We'll turn it up a bit. Actually, one more thing. If I do this, maybe a look. Uh. I have a challenge for all of you. Go to every computer in your house, your mom's, your dad's, your sister, your brother's computer, and install Honey. Wait, mom, before you check out, do you have Honey installed? What's Honey? Oh, no, no, no. It's a free browser add- Nope. There we go. That's what we want. Uh, actually, let's, uh, let's do a little tweaking. Ah, uh, last minute tweaks. Love them. Or well, last second in this case. But yeah, here we go. Game Awards. Following program may contain content that some viewers might find offensive. Viewers' discretion is advised. Oh, hell yeah. Here we go. What's up, everyone? Sydney Goodman here, coming to you live from Los Angeles, California. Welcome to the Game Awards pre-show. And please allow me to be the first to thank you for setting down Cyberpunk for a few hours. <laughs> As you can probably tell, the Game Awards are going to look a little different this year. Our venue may be smaller, but the show itself is as gigantic as ever. The awards and world premieres won't be changing, except I guess the only people clapping will be me and probably a few crew members. Going remote this year will bring us musical performances from London and Tokyo, and one positive of tonight's mostly digital gathering is we'll get to see more faces in the talented teams behind this year's outstanding Ooh. nominated games. As for us here in the pre-show, we'll be spending the remaining minutes before the Game Awards kick off with brand new trailers, mercifully brief integrated marketing, and Lynn will be performing a song from Persona 5 Strikers. <sighs> and best of all, the big reason we're all here, awards. Our first category tonight is Best Score in Music. Ooh, it's a particularly okay. strong contest this year with five standout nominees that could on their own represent the best of the generation. Here are the nominees for Best Score in Music. Doom Eternal. Yeah, come on, Final Doom. Fantasy VII Remake. Hades. Ori and the Will of the Wisps. And The Last of Us Part Two. Ah, fuck. And the winner is... Final Fantasy VII Remake. You know what? I'm okay with that. 今回この素晴らしい賞を受賞できて大変光栄です。このゲームをプレイしてくださった皆さん、音楽制作に参加してくれたサウンドチーム、そしてファイナルファンタジー7の原曲を作ってくれた上松さん、ありがとうございました。大変感謝しております。
そして、えー、ともう一度このゲームを音楽に注目しながらプレイしていただけると大変嬉しいですありがとうございました As I said earlier, you'll be seeing a variety of different world premieres throughout this pre show, but strangely enough, we've decided to show you our most important one first. Here it is. Welcome to the Devolver Digital 2021 Game of the Year Award, sponsored by Devolver Digital. <laughs> And now, your host, Devolver Digital CEO, Nina Struthers. Okay, shush it. So, yeah, tonight we are here to celebrate this year's most memorable video games. Let's not overlook the unrelenting hype, not for this, but for next year's as yet to be released games coming at you hot from what many believe to be this industry's most ridiculously overrated publisher. While most of these games are months away from release, we at Devolver Digital are strong proponents of、I、awards、like、for awards' sake. And with that, The nominees for the Devolver Digital 2021 Game of the Year are Shadow Warrior 3 by Flying Wild Hog, Olea by Skeleton Crew Studio, Card Shark by Nereo, Weird West by Wolfeye, Boomerang X by Dang. And the winner is. Loop Hero by developer Four Quarters. <laughs> Four Quarters couldn't be here with us this evening as Loop Hero was unannounced until, well, just now, really.、Yeah. Let's have a look at Loop Hero. Your world has been cast into a dark spiral. Place enchanted cards along a harrowing loop. Summon monsters, build cathedrals, and remember your world. Scrounge for weapons, armor, and mystical items to level up your hero. Expand your camp, customize your card deck, and uncover secrets. Face the lich, break the spiral, and save your world. Loop hero. Coming in 2021. That looks really interesting. Oh, hey, thank you.、Uh, we'll see you next year. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Devolver. Every year, the Game Awards do our best to highlight new games from all sorts of developers, from AAA big shots like Devolver to smaller independent studios. Our next world premiere is the debut of a new game from Awaseb, a young studio started in New Caledonia. Enjoy. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Ooh, it's very pretty. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's so fucking pretty. Oh, that's a cool. Excited for that. Like, holy fuck. This next award category is for one of gaming's most popular genres. 
action adventure. The breadth of what is considered an action adventure game also leads to this regularly being one of our most competitive categories. Incidentally, for the past three years, the Game Award winner for action adventure has gone on to win Game of the Year. So this is a big one. Here are the nominees for best action adventure game. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Ghost of Tsushima, Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, <sighs> Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, and The Last of Us I Part Two. Fallen Order was this year. And the winner is The Last of Us Part Two. Uh... Oh, we won! Oh, this is awesome. We want to thank the Game Awards for choosing us as the best action adventure game. Um, on behalf of the directors, which is myself, Anthony Newman, and Neil Druckmann, uh, we want to thank the entire team at Naughty Dog who poured their heart and souls into this game. It's really their uh, talent that immerses you in that world and really makes I, uh, you feel like you're on this journey with Ellie. Uh, I want to thank Evan Wells, our this? president, uh, also everyone at Sony and our partners for really helping us uh, put this game together and get out the door. Um, and especially to our fans who supported us and uh, really helped make this game something special. Uh, you guys make it worth it, so thank you again. Congratulations once more to The Last of Us Part Two. We have many more awards coming up in the pre-show, but first, here's another trailer. Hey everyone, uh, I'm Connie. I'm the CEO and creative director of my games company called Yo Mai in beautiful Berlin. It was such an honor to be nominated for the games for impact category at last year's The Game Award for our most important project today called Sea of Solitude. I'm oh, very happy to one. announce that Sea of Solitude will be coming to Nintendo Switch this winter, but it's not just a port. We fully reworked the entire game. We're calling it the Director's Cup because it's a version that truly represents what I wanted to convey about the topics that are especially important in today's difficult times. We can't wait to share it with you. Until then, stay safe, enjoy the Game Awards, and see you soon. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad uh, more people will get to see this game, if it's the one I'm thinking of. Okay, this isn't the one I'm thinking of, but that's fine. Ooh, quantum dream. My monsters. Oh no, this is the one I was thinking of. Yeah, I remember this looking really interesting. You know them too, don't you? The river comforts me no more. They're waiting for us to capsize. To drown. We'll face them. We'll chase them across the sea of solitude. We'll set sail and we won't stop until we reach safe harbor together. stream if I played on Switch though. We've had some great world premieres already, but we recognize there may be some fans of elegant shadow-based puzzle games who feel left out. Hmm? Don't worry. We've got something for you too. What? From Focus Home Interactive, here is Shady Part of Me. No. Oh, okay. There once was a girl who was trapped in the dark with naught but her shadow for company. A journey to escape she did embark, and her shadow followed distrustfully. Girl found no hope in light, but despair. Her shadow smiled. With me there is a way. 
hand in hand, we break free from this nether. Step by step, we will rise together. Okay. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. I'll go add that to my wish list. If you're just joining us now, welcome. We're in the middle of what has turned out to be a jam-packed pre-show for the Game Awards. We've just premiered two trailers back to back, and now we'd like to take a moment to announce the winners of three awards. Ooh, three First awards. is Best Family Game, a category that did a lot of heavy lifting this year throughout the months of what seems like endless lockdown. When <laughs> pools closed and Chuck E. Cheese went bankrupt, family games Chuck were always there. Bankrupt? The nominees are Animal Crossing New Horizons, hey. Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, also a good choice. Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout, yeah. Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, yeah. Minecraft Dungeons, Ooh. and Paper Mario The Origami King. Okay, okay. And the winner is a Animal Crossing New Horizons. Of course it was. Next, I have the honor of awarding Best Community Support. This category debuted last year, and it represents the games that truly value their player base, demonstrated through communication and respect. Speech Here is dope. are the nominees. Not fitting at all. Apex dope. Legends, Destiny 2, Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout, Fortnite, No Man's Sky, and Valorant. And the winner is Come on. Fall Eight. Guys Ultimate Knockout. Yeah, it's the only way to be there. The Twitter is top Finally, tier. we get to acknowledge the winner for Best Debut Game. This, of course, goes to nominees that represent an independent studio's first ever release. It's an award for fresh perspectives, new ideas, and distinguished bravery. The nominees for Best Debut Game are Carrion, mm -hmm. Mortal Shell, I haven't played it. Phasmophobia, that's what I voted for. Raji, an ancient epic, I haven't played it. And Roki. Pull that. And the winner is Phasmophobia. Hell yeah, it is. That's five trophies down, and the Game Awards haven't even officially started yet. As the handy countdown timer says, we are minutes away, so I'd like to take a moment to let you know about a few ways you can interact with tonight's big show. Okay. All night long, fans will be predicting the winners on Twitch using a special voting extension powered by Verizon 5G built for gamers. Oh, Lock in your picks that. throughout the night to see if Whoops. you guess the right winner and whether you're watching on our official channel or from one of hundreds of co-streams. Mega Drops will be activated for Fortnite and Among Us. Over the last few days, fans huh. have visited our at the Game Awards TikTok channel and voted on which The Last of Us Part Two team they support, Team Abby or Team Ellie. The votes are in, and Team Ellie won the vote. Of course, Team Thanks Ellie won the Thanks for your vote. votes, and be sure to follow us on TikTok if you haven't yet to catch all our great gaming content. We polled Reddit's r slash gaming community to see what their pick is for 2020's Game of the Year, and the winner is Ghost of Tsushima. As for the Game Award for Game of the Year, we obviously won't learn that until the end of the night. For now, huh. we're about to take a super short break, but coming up on the other side, we've got winners for each of our eSports awards, a Persona 5 Strikers performance, and of course, more world premieres. Hey, thanks, Sydney. Listen, it's hard for me to believe that it was 27 years ago that my brother Robin and I watched players venture into the Ages of Mist for the first time. Anyway, today I am so excited to start a new chapter of Mist with the release of an entirely reconstructed VR version that's available now on the Oculus Quest platform. Oh, We've got something Quest. special for anyone who purchases Mist. They'll unlock a Mist-themed Oculus home environment. I'm so thrilled for you to experience Mist in VR, and thank you so much for your continued love and support. Okay, this looks great, but it's on the quest, so nobody's gonna fucking play it.
Welcome back to the Game Awards pre-show. For the first time ever, I get to introduce a musical performance right here in the pre-show. And I'm not sure there could be anything better to jump off with. Performing Last Surprise from the Persona 5 Striker soundtrack oh. from Tokyo, Japan, here is Lynn featuring the Persona band. Oh, fuck yes. Game Awards, are you ready? This year's TGS, Square Enix officially announced an update to 2010's Near Replicant, the prequel to Near Automata. The it actual is. title of this remake was, of course, another sick joke from director Yoko Taro. But the Game Awards pre-show will never turn down a challenge. Tonight, I am both happy and unafraid to introduce the gameplay debut for Near Replicant oh. version 1.22. Four seven four four eight seven one three nine dot dot dot. Nice. I'm so excited to play this. Oh. 
I never played the original Raccoon, but I imagine it's how popular Otomata was. Um, they probably go to. Uh, it's probably gonna play a lot more like Otomata did, which as someone who liked Otomata. <laughs> I'm okay with that, and I don't know if that'll be. Uh, a problem for fans of Replicant, but for me, I'll be happy. So. It's been a special night already, and now I get to share Eyes, with you please. another Game Awards first. The world premiere of a new band. You what? heard me correctly. They're playing their debut single, Follow Unfollow. Please welcome, for the first time what? ever, OFK. This isn't games. Let the music good. Is it falling apart? Was it already broke? Okay. And am I back at the we start? Can I let all right the right hope back. in? It's the glow on my phone from a brand new vibration. And the numbers alone in a new combination. Sorry for the fall. Ooh, that's bright. Unfollow. I'll be on. Okay. Eh, I mean, who's I? That's a bop. Tonight's about celebrating all of 2020's best in the world of gaming, and that would be impossible without honoring esports' best talent, uh, who, despite everything, go thrived and continued to entertain and inspire. Chat. Of the 30 different game awards categories, five are esports awards. We're about to announce each winner, but I may need to call in some help to get through them all. We'll see. Here we go. For best esports game, the nominees are Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Counter Strike Global Offensive, Fortnite, League of Legends, and Valorant. And the winner is League of Legends. Yeah, I'm taking a nap check. Wake me up when they don't leave. For best esports coach, the nominees are Krusty, Grabs, Rambo, Zepha, and Zonic. And the winner is Zonic. For best esports event, the nominees are Blast Premier Spring 2020 European Finals, Call of Duty League Championship 2020, IEM Katowice 2020, League of Legends World Championship 2020, and Overwatch League Grand Finals 2020. And the winner is League of Legends World Championship 2020. For best esports host, the nominees are Dash, Golden Boy, Machine, Shiver, and Shox. And the winner is Shox. For best esports team, the nominees are Dallas Empire, Damn One Gaming, G2 Esports, San Francisco Shock and Team Secret. And the winner is G2 Esports. Congratulations to all of the winners. And now to announce the winner of Best Esports Athlete, here's the host of ESPN's First Take and the new ESPN Plus show, Stephen A's World, Stephen A. Smith. I know what y'all are thinking. Did they just bring Stephen A. Smith to the Game Awards in an effort to legitimize esports as something equal to athletic sports? Nah, that's not the point. They're doing their thing. When every major sports league in the nation shut down, esports just kept on going. With that being said, I'll say this much. 
All of the esports athletes nominated are without question more determined, more tenacious, and definitely win more than anybody on the Dallas Cowboys. Now for our nominees. <laughs> Crim6, Showmaker, Kenyon, Shotzi, Zai Wu. And the winner is Showmaker. 어, 일단 이런 상을 주신 거에 대해서 되게 영광스럽고 감사하게 생각하고 어, 뭐 팬분들의 응원이나 진짜 선수들, 감독 코치님 전부 다 노력해서 받았다고 생각하고 항상 열심히 하면서 살겠습니다. 감사합니다. You can definitely sense it, right? The Game Awards are about to begin. Stephen A. Smith just handed out the final award of the pre-show. Oh, sweet. And now it's time for one last premiere before the main show begins. And it's got something we could all use a little more of. Dragons fighting dragons. Here's Sentry, Age of Ashes. There we go. No, wake up. Oh no, don't give me the right dose. Shit, they didn't catch what it was cold. And with that, with it game. means I'm about to sign off and hand it over to Jeff. Look forward to performances from Eddie Vedder and the London Philharmonic Orchestra, who will be playing the traditional Game of the Year medley, as well as a special surprise. I love surprises. There will be world premieres from Fall Guys, Dragon Age, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, Among Us, huge surprises, little surprises, and of course, awards for the greatest games of 2020. This is Sydney Goodman signing off. The Game Awards start right now. <sighs> right, let's fucking do it. Game Awards time. Like, for real. Not like we haven't been in half an hour already. around the world and welcome to the game Jeff, awards on, 2020 we are so happy Dude. to have you joining us tonight you know Only this year of course will be a little bit different uh it's been a tough year for everyone i know and normally with the holiday season we'd all be gathering with our friends and family and i know that can't happen for all of us but tonight we can gather here and connect around games, something that we all love. Games connect us. And I'm here in Los Angeles, and whether you're watching live right now in China early in the morning, in Europe, America, my native Canada, wherever you are, uh, even in India this year, all over the globe, we are coming together tonight to celebrate our love of video games. Uh, now, to keep everyone safe tonight, nominees are going to be joining us live via Zoom from all over the world. You can see them there. Hi, everybody. They're all joining us from their homes and their studios. China, Europe, Los Angeles, far and wide. And we will have all these guys joining us uh, tonight as we get through all the awards live in the show. Uh, we're going to be joined also by some very special guests. Keanu Reeves, Gal Gadot, Brie Larson, Tom Holland, Christopher Nolan, John David Washington, <laughs> the Swedish the chef, Holland. Reggie, and more. And we also have Reggie. a very special performance by Eddie Vedder from Pearl Jam. Uh, he will be in Seattle. Yeah. And the London Philharmonic Orchestra from Abbey Road Studios in London, conducted by Lauren Balfe. It is going to be an amazing show. And as always, we've got the awards. We've got first looks. We've got new Can't game announcements. 
all of the things that make the Game Awards special will be here. And what I love about this show is that the entire industry comes together tonight to celebrate games. Everyone is here. <laughs> or at least I thought everyone was here. It does sound like we're still expecting someone else to arrive. I just feel like a smash it. Yep, there it is. All right, see what we got. What I was most excited for for these awards. Okay. Hmm. Oh shit! We're gonna play as Master Hand. Something that can stop the excuse me. Okay, it has to be saying capable of defeating. No. No. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. You know, I've always held that hope that Virgil would be Smash, but this is still pretty fucking cool. Yo, how the fuck are you gonna fly with one wing? Huh? Oh, that's this month. That's fucking awesome, though. All right, the fun is just getting started. But of course, this show is also about awards. And to present our first award, you probably know her as Captain Marvel. She's an Oscar-winning actor, a filmmaker, and a dedicated activist. And she's joining us now, live on Zoom. It's Brie Larson. Hey, Brie. Hello. Tonight, I am honored to present the award for best performance. Among the nominees is an inclusive group of talented actors filling vastly different roles in games that are nothing alike. However, these artists are nominated tonight for what they share in common, a clear dedication to their craft and an extraordinary ability to bring humanity and empathy to their roles. Here are the nominees for Best Performance. Best Performance. You can't stop this. Hey, that's Deserves to suffer. Stupid boy, you shall never reach the surface. No, don't look. Don't be a hero, Miles. Okay, let's do this. And the game award goes to Laura Bailey as Abby, The Last of Us Part Two. 
I'm not surprised it went to Laura Bailey. <laughs> and I mean, oh, I like yeah. Laura Bailey. She's a good actress. Oh, wow. Um, wow. Uh, I, I was such a fan of the original uh, Last of Us and of Troy and Ashley's performances within it. Um, I fell in love with Joel and Ellie. So it is no surprise to me that uh, Abby's role within this story has been met with such uh, passionate responses. <laughs> but um, to have been able to play such a fantastically challenging character who through her story enables the player to find forgiveness and empathy is something that I'll be eternally grateful for. Um, Oh man, I told the team on the day that I finished filming that what I wanted more than anything was for my performance to, to give a performance that honored the impact that the original game had on me. So this award means so much. Um, thank you to Neil and to Hallie and the entire team for giving me the opportunity and for all of the support and the guidance along the way. Um, to Patrick and Ian and Grace for, uh, everything you did the the story and abby would not have been as impactful without you by my side um <laughs> to troy who <laughs> through our i don't know decades of working together in this industry we've been we've been allies we've been enemies and we've been everything in between uh and every single time i work with you i come away better for it thank you for always having my back and to ashley who I love so much. Um, I don't know what else to say other than um, I think you should probably be giving the speech right now. I think you're amazing and your, your strength and your power and your vulnerability and your performance left me speechless. Um, I love you, marry me. <laughs> to my husband, Travis, who spent countless hours just listening to me come to terms with what this uh, game's journey has been. Um, and to the fans, obviously, to everyone who voted, thank you for your support and for your love and for your passion and for allowing yourself to go on this journey with Abby and with me. You thank know, you. I love you. <laughs> Congratulations, Laura. I think I heard iMessages coming in for people congratulating <laughs> as that was going on. It's uh, so great to have everyone here celebrating an amazing year for games. All right, we are streaming on every platform tonight, including Twitch, where we have drops for Among Us and Fortnite, who both have world premieres coming up uh, later in the show. And throughout the night, we will also be interactive on Twitch. You can predict who you think will win using a Twitch extension. And first up, best ongoing game, so go and vote now. Lock in your predictions. All right, well, even with everything going on, it's been one of those special years that sees the launch of new next-gen consoles. And with that, brings a whole new generation of games. Tonight, we are honored to have one team, a new team of veterans, reveal the very first details about their ambitious and exciting new project right here at the Game Awards. Enjoy. All right, what we got? Pretty much since the day I started, there's been a really clear player fantasy. I think the thing that, that makes it different from a lot of first-person games is it's not just about shooting. Eco-sci-fi is a term that we use. Future fiction, but from an ecological focus. There's been this ecological disaster. These corporations came in and they developed new technology and on the surface everything's Everything's pretty great. We're still early in development, but we're really excited with well, where things are going. Well, we we wanted to share a cinematic piece that helps set the tone for our world. Okay. Space. I like space. I remember when everything changed. I don't. The floods. The storms. The fires. People dying in the streets. Yo, she used the floods for the fire. The corporations gave us solutions. A better world. And 
we welcome them into our lives. But the laws of nature aren't meant to be broken. Oh, no. We need to know what they're hiding. find the answers you were looking for no agent dark not yet this is just the beginning that looks cool oh perfect dark okay 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 There you go, Perfect Dark from the Initiative Xbox. Very exciting to have that announced. All right, well, we're going to go right into another game announcement for the first time right here at the Game Awards. Check it out. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Gross bugs. Ooh, rubble wall. Ooh, terror rock. Terror rock made uh, the Arkham games. No, not the Arkham. The terror rock made um, the Left 4 Dead games. Rock steady in Arkham. I mean. There's too many. Stick together. We got a job to do. Remember? No worm-ridden son of a bitch is gonna stop us. Fuck her up, handsome. Yo, oh, it's left for dead. Yeah, that's totally her. <laughs> Back for blood, and I'm now joined by Chris Ashton of Turtle Rock Studios. Uh, this is three. pretty exciting for all us Left 4 Dead fans. Of course, uh, you guys are known for all the amazing work Left 4 Dead, and now you're building uh, this on uh, building on the legacy with this new zombie co-op shooter. Uh, what's new? What can you tell us about it, Chris? <laughs> well, we wanted to do more and bigger, right? We wanted to have more playable characters, uh, more missions more story uh, but we also wanted to have a bigger variety of zombies to fight right but also we wanted to go bigger so now we've got these 20 foot tall uh, zombie monstrosities that are definitely going to take you know the help of your friends in order to defeat all right well it's great to have this game announced but it sounds like i, I think you've prepared a little surprise for everyone watching right oh yeah like uh movies are cool but uh, gameplay is king right so let's see some of that. Ooh, okay, like here gameplay. we go. Here's the gameplay reveal of Back for Blood. Thanks, Chris. Pre-alpha. Oh, fuck. We, uh... One 
for speeches. So how about we just go kill some Rick? Nice pep talk. Ah, damn. Here we go. Yeah, I'm uh I'm registered for that shit. There you go, back for blood, June next year, Alpha next week. Crazy. All right, very exciting. Well, tonight we're celebrating games and we've got awesome discounts on many of tonight's nominees with the Game Awards sale across Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo eShop, Epic Game Store, and Steam. And we also have the Game Awards Festival, a chance to play upcoming games like Little Nightmares 2, and some of the games are also available uh, instantly with GeForce Now. So make sure to check that out. You can stream on any device with no downloads on GeForce Now. <laughs> well, we also have a lot of great stuff coming up. We'll have performances from the London Philharmonic Harmonic Orchestra and Eddie Vedder. But right now, two years ago, we announced at the Game Awards Scavengers from Midwinter Entertainment. Oh, Everyone yeah. has been wondering when they'll get to play it. For news on that, let's hear from Midwinter's Josh Holmes. Thanks, Jeff. I do have a really exciting update for you. But first, I just want to thank the many thousands of players who have been testing the game with us over the past year. Your feedback and your support means the world to us. We couldn't do this without you. But today, I have big news to share. Explorers, it's time. You'll face off against many others. There are countless strategies and paths to success. Find the ones that get you back alive. This is where the real fun starts. I've been preparing this for years. Now, I need you. Keep up. See if you can see me. <laughs> time to light the fire. Ooh. Now it's going to be a good time. It is. Everything is in place. <laughs> Your test begins now. Ooh, okay, okay. All right, so there you have it. The PC closed beta for Scavengers starts right now. If you're part of our community, you can play with your existing Steam key. But we're also opening up 50,000 slots for new players. So go to playscavengers.com, sign up for free, and we'll see you in the game. No, don't do the quiz on music. Don't do it. Oh, shit. This. Oh, wait, sign up, watch, sign up, watch the, the, the. Oh. <laughs> that dude got 
fucking murdered. Hear the switch noise. Same. Ooh, started. Oh, it's just a general switch thing. Okay. Let's try saying Twitch. Game Awards have teamed up for six new AR effects you can share to Instagram Reels. I played with them yesterday at home and posted to the Game Awards profile. Check it out. You can transport yourself to Final Fantasy VII's train station, transform into the Doom Slayer, don the mask of the Ghost of Tsushima, sneak through The Last of Us, or even become Zagreus from Hades. To create your own, uh, just head perfect. over to the Game Awards on Instagram, click on the effect icon, and share to Instagram Reels. And I'll be back later to show off some of your beautiful creations. What we got? Oh. I mean, Falls is a pretty game for driving spot. Ooh, actually, that color. This a folder that's emphasizing. Oh, it's just. Oh, I see. There you go, Forza, Cross Cyberpunk, and later Keanu Reeves, Johnny Silverhand himself, will be joining us to present the Best Direction Awards, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but welcome back. Now, coming up next, we're going to present the Best Ongoing Game Award, and the Twitch community thinks Fortnite is going to win that with 47% of the votes. Well, let's find out the Twitch community is right. Uh, we are going to present the Best Ongoing Game, which recognizes five outstanding titles that continue to deliver for fans. Here are the nominees. Best ongoing game. Here I go. Our enemies stand no chance against this power. Come on, please, the. All right, well, now it's time to reveal the winner. The nominees are joining us here. Hi, guys. All right, here we go. Uh, and the winner Thank is... You. The Game Award goes to No Man's Sky. Uh, I heard they've been doing good, so... Um, I was not expecting that. Uh, amazing. <laughs> it's normally... Twitch is right, Jeff. It's normally Fortnite. It's always Fortnite that beats us. Uh, shit, uh, thank you so much. Um, we're really lucky, you know, we get to come to work every day and make games. No Man's Sky is such a wonderful game to work on, you know. Um, it's not always easy, though. Uh, so moments like this, they mean a lot, you know. This means a lot to me, means a lot to the team. Thank you so much. Thank you to the community for continuing to support us. Thanks. 
Uh, Congratulations, mm -hmm. Sean Murray, No Man's Sky, best ongoing game. Now, every year leading uh, into the show, there's always a lot of speculation, a lot of games mm -hmm. that you might be anticipating, but there are always a few you're not expecting. Like this one, check out this world premiere. You don't know. Why are we expecting this? Ooh. Oh, that's gross. I like it. Hey man, get up. What are we looking at here? Cool work, huh? See this? Uh oh. Something ain't right. Oh, that's not good. Yo, that dude's head looks like a foot. This is Black Iron's transport ship Caron. You are cleared for landing. What is this? I think I should know where I don't. Callisto Protocol. 2022. Okay. Just in time for me to forget about it and then be like surprised by it again. I'm feeling some Dead Space vibes, and there's little wonder why. You know him from his work on Dead Space and Call of Duty. Here's the CEO of Striking Distance Studios, Glenn Schofield. Hey, Glenn. Hey, thanks, Jeff. Well, the Callisto Protocol has been in development for uh, over a year and a half with a team of well over 100 people on it. It's a single-player, third-person, story-driven survival horror game set in the year 2320 on Jupiter's moon of Callisto. Our goal is to make the single most scariest game for PC and consoles. And we're so excited to be able to show it here tonight. Awesome, thank you very much, Glenn. We're looking forward to hearing more about that next year. All right, announced back in July, Warhammer 40K Dark Tide is a four-player co-op game from Fat Shark, the developers behind Warhammer Vermintide 2. Well, tonight, they're sharing a first look at the gameplay. Check this out. I don't know, what is this? Now it is time to recognize some other winners. In the category of Best Art Direction, the nominees are Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, and The Last of Us Part II. I swear to fuck. And Last the Game Award Last goes to deserve this one. Ghost of Tsushima. Congratulations okay, to God. Sucker Punch. For Best Action Game, the nominees are Doom Eternal, Hell yeah. Hades, Half-Life Alex, Neo 2, 
and Streets of Rage 4. And the winner is Hades. Congratulations, you know Super fair. Giant. In the category of Best VR AR, the nominees are Dreams, Half Life Alex, Marvel's Iron Man VR, Star Wars Squadrons, and The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. And the game award goes to Half Life Alex. Close Congratulations to Val. To to. For Best Sports Racing Game, those nominees are Dirt 5, F1 2020, FIFA 21, NBA 2K21, and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Come on. And the game award goes to Tony Hawk's Hell Pro Skater 1 yeah. and 2. Congratulations, Tony. And for the most anticipated game voted on on Twitter this year, the nominees are Elden Ring, there I said it, God of War sequel, Halo Infinite, Horizon Forbidden West, Resident Evil Village, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Ooh. sequel. And your most anticipated Breath of the game Wild is me. Elden Ring. Of course. Congratulations to From Software. All right. This next game comes from the creators of Gone Home and Tacoma. The Fulbright Company and Annapurna Interactive present one part road trip, one part mystery, with two familiar voices. Check it out. Gone Home was, uh, Gone Home was interesting. When they say familiar voices, though. My name is Tess Devine, and the world is passing me by. I guess as I get a little older, I'm starting to feel how things change. I don't know who they this is. decline and go away. That's how it was with my grandma. I loved her so much. I thought I knew her better road than trip, anyone. Road trip, road but looking trip. through her old things, we found hints of something she never told us about. A man who wasn't my grandfather. A burglary ring. Some sort of lost fortune. We can't ask her about these things anymore, so we have to go looking for the answers ourselves. My mom and I are out on the road, Yo, searching. Kind of hot. I don't know what we'll find, but whatever it is, I know we'll find it together. Road trip, road trip, road trip, road trip. I don't know either of those people. All right, once again this year, we're excited to share some stories about people around the world who are making a positive impact on the gaming community. These are our global gaming citizens in partnership with Facebook Gaming. Our first honoree yeah. tonight is Latinx in Gaming. Check out this important story. Facebook Gaming. When I was starting in the games industry as a Latinx person, I felt quite invisible. It still feels like I'm the odd one out. I felt alone. I was often the only woman and the only Latina woman in the room. I think about how hard it was for me to get where I am today, and I don't want anyone to go through that anymore. And welcome to Latinx in Gaming. Our content, our voices. Latinx in Gaming is a group of people that are dedicated to supporting other people of Latinx descent in the gaming space. The past three years, we've just grown from a really small group into thousands. This was no longer just about game developers. This is about streamers and students and journalists and marketing and fans. Pave the way for people like me. Pave the way for people in our community. Just knowing that there's somebody out there doing what you want to do empowers you to, to chase it. It's a really beautiful thing. I'm trying not to cry, I was this close. <laughs> Okay. Hey everyone, my name is Anna Donlin. I am the executive producer of Valorant and I cannot believe that it has been only half a year since we launched this game. Oh, Our Valorant game community Valorant. has shown up in such a huge way, helping us take this tax shooter from an idea to a home for tens of millions of players around the world. To celebrate this, we've teamed up with the Game Awards to highlight one of the most vital pieces of our community, honestly, the ones that got us started in the first place, our Valorant streamers. Together we ran a fan vote to name the best emerging Valorant streamer from our global community list. We'll announce the winner before the end of the show 
and then we'll all go raid their stream together. Ooh. Again, I want to thank you all for playing Valorant, and I'll leave you with just a taste of what we've all done together this year. The potential of Valorant. I love it. Let's go, baby! Oh, oh my goodness. goodness! I got this. <laughs> Today, we tweeted out that there is a special event happening right now in Pokemon Go. Well, now's the time to bring out your phones and start catching because we're officially on a Wooper Watch, and they are so what? cute. We've partnered with our friends at Pokemon Go to keep an eye on the Waterfish Pokemon, and throughout the night, we'll let you know when large numbers of Wooper will appear in the wild. We've also been told you could encounter a shiny Wooper if you're lucky, so open up Pokemon Go and catch some Wooper while you watch this evening. I'm good. Mm, that would have been a lot. Get up, detective. One last time. Oh. The great city at That's the end of the world <laughs> is waiting. So, get out there, solve a murder with a unique skill system at your disposal. I didn't notice what Disco Elysium was. Carve your own path across an award-winning open world. Oh, sure. And uncover even more in this groundbreaking role-playing game. Oh, is after Christmas. Meet and get to know more of the locals. Welcome to reality, baby. Sure thing, champ. Lead the way. If you could only find your gun. It's okay. With full voice acting for every single one of the city's beautiful people. Um, yes. I'm going to unplug the microphone, okay? <laughs> and leave a bigger mark behind you in new quests. You're big boy. You can handle it. So I'm definitely gonna definitely gonna cop that. I'm definitely gonna stream that um I guess I'll wait till March. Welcome back to the Game Awards. That's so exciting. Disco Elysium news. You may remember last year they were, I think, they won the most awards out of any game last year at the Game Awards. So awesome news. All right. Well, now we're going to talk about BioWare's Dragon Age franchise. It is known for its story and its characters. And right now, the team at BioWare wanted to give you a little sneak preview of what to expect in the next game and where it will take us. Enjoy. I face tyrants and would be gods. Seen friends lose life and limb. But there's always someone bent on breaking the world. It's time for a new hero. No magic hand. No ancient prophecy. Okay. The kind of person they'll never see coming. We've got your back. 
I've got your back. Demons, dragons, dark spawn. Even the dread wolf. Is bold. This is your story. <laughs> All right, we're back, and I'm I'm trapped in our set now. I don't know what's going on. All right, well, <laughs> next we'll have a look at an exciting new tactical squad-based rogue light game set in the endless universe. Here is another new game announcement. Sega. I like those guys. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Isn't that red? Seems really interesting though, so I'm cool. All right, uh, Endless Dungeons, very cool. Our next world premiere comes from South Korea, Crimson Desert, the new open world action adventure game from Pearl Abyss. This mm. next gen game offers in-depth story-driven single player content in an MMO setting. What you're about to see includes actual gameplay footage. This is the beautiful and merciless world of Crimson Desert. This does look pretty. This, th that's a game? What? Oh, those snow physics. Love me some snow physics. Ooh, my voice is, uh, oh man. Oh, that guy was just, that was just a goblin orc dude just 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 walking through the town like nothing. Those people are walking into each other weirdly, uh, just like NPCs should. I appreciate that. Oh. Okay, what that guy was doing looked a little weird, but that's fine. This is a pretty game. I wonder what it's about.
he's got a little tooth thing he's somewhere else. Oh, that's even cooler. Hold on.